Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about maintenance and in particular the combining of different steps. People ask me sometimes, well, can I, can I vacuum when I clean my filters? Uh, can I do a water change and at the same time do something else? I'm gonna go over with you what has worked with, for me over the years and, uh, and given me a good result. And, uh, and at the end of the video, I'll give you a couple tips that I've used that really help me to stay on top of what I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. If you're new to this, new to the channel, and uh, you like like me to always be learning about how to do a better job taking care of your fish, be sure to hit that bell and hit that sub button, and that way you'll get notifications on when I post. New All right, so let's get into the subject. Very often, people will ask me, uh, really, how much maintenance should they do at once? They want to do a water change. They want to service one of their one of their filters, for example, a canister filter, uh, and they. They worry that maybe they're going to do too much, maybe they're going to disrupt the beneficial bacteria, create an ammonia spike, and uh, end up with some fish dying off on them. Well, here, here's what I do. When I'm, gonna, when I'm gonna work on a filter, for example, uh, servicing a canister, the first thing I do is I don't over-service my canisters. And by that, what I mean is I really make sure that I allow enough time to go on between when I need to actually crack them open. And what determines that, I'll get into with you uh, towards the end of this video. But whenever I, um, I work on something like a canister, the first thing I have to do is I have to pull, put some water from the tank into a couple, uh, you know, a couple buckets. And um, you, you know, you'll see right here why I'm doing that. And so I fill these buckets up and then I use these buckets, initial rinse, and then store the media so it can stay in tank water and really end up killing off less, less beneficial bacteria uh, instead of, let's say, rinsing it in something like tap water that uh, could contain chlorine or chloramine. So uh, to pull the water from the tank uh, to fill the buckets, I'll do a very light vacuuming. So I go ahead and I, um, I, give the, I give the media a light rinse. The sponges, you can, you can actually squeeze those out pretty good, but your beneficial bacteria really, all you need is give it a couple dips, like you see here, and then go ahead and store it in the cleaner aquarium water. After you've, you've dipped that, uh, that beneficial bacteria rich media, then go ahead and squeeze out the sponges in the tank water. Do you need to get every last little bit of guck out of the sponge? No. Don't go crazy. Don't overdo it. Just do enough to, you know, so that you don't have a restricted flow in the sponges. Go ahead and rebuild the canister. Fill it with tank water. That way it'll start right up. Get it all hooked up again. Fire it up and you're good to go. And you'll see that by filling the two, the two uh, buckets with enough water to be able to do this procedure, I've actually done a bit of a water change, in this case, perhaps maybe 15%, and, uh, which is gonna you know, give the tank a little bit of a refresh, and, uh, but at the same time, isn't gonna disrupt things too much, isn't gonna cause too much commotion for the fish, 15 to 20% maybe at, you know, at the max. I've been doing it this way for a long time. Now, I promised a, uh, a tip, and here it is. When you first set up your filters, keep a log. In my case, I keep the log on my phone. And uh, check on the filters from time to time. Your hang on back filters will, will start to overflow when it's time to actually service them. In other words, they'll tell you that the media is starting to be blocked and it's time to go ahead and, uh, and clean it up, you know, clean up the sponges or whatever. Your canisters can lose some of their pressure, but when you crack them open, they'll look, you know, on visual inspection, they'll look dirty. If you open up your canister and it looks pretty clean, as can be the case in the, in the tank behind me because I use pre-filters, those pre-filter sponges catch a lot of the gook. And so what ends up happening is 
I can go for a pretty long time between canister cleanings. So if you open that canister up and it's been two months and it still looks good, close it up again. Open it up again in three months, see how it looks. You might find that you can go three, four, five, six months and it still looks good. Now, certainly having pre-filters on the intakes makes a difference, makes, makes a bit of a difference. Also the bio load, how many fish do you have? In this tank, I have a very small number of fish. So at any rate, that's the tip. Dial in your, your filters by keeping a log and uh, checking them out, noting how long it's been between the time that you checked them out and then noting whether or not they were clean or, or needed servicing. And you'll be able to know how long you can go. But keep in mind, that's gonna change if you add stock, okay? Or let's say one of your filters, let's say my hang on back stopped working and I was just running the canisters. That's gonna shorten the amount of time because now two filters are handling more of the load, okay? So always remember, it's a, it's a fluid moving type of situation that's not really written down in concrete, okay? If I add more fish, I'll probably have to go a shorter period. But for now, I can probably go four months, five months between cleaning because those canisters look really good when I crack them open. All right? All right, questions, tips, ideas that you might have, share them below. I wanna hear them and I want you to share them with the rest of the Convo Gang, folks that like to uh, comment on these videos. I call them the, con the Convo Gang. And uh, be sure to hit that sub button and that bell if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Thank you, my friends. You are appreciated. That's it for me. Bye-bye.